Welcome, my name is Monica and I'm a YouTuber and yeah, I just came to update you guys. I came to Benin on Wednesday and I came to vote, that's why I came all the way here. So I'm going to take you guys through the voting process. I didn't say anything since because I've just been occupied doing a lot of things. And so, um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, I changed my phone. I'm now using an XR and I'm so happy for that so my video quality my picture quality was so much better and I'm so grateful for that so yeah you guys should join me on this so yeah that's the update I'll be filming you guys in on the process and everything so we're going to lodge in a hotel close to our pulling unit because of security reasons and just so we can because that's our pulling units and we can get there early enough because i don't think there's movement tomorrow so yeah we're going there now it's currently 9 30 something oh yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment do all the usual things subscribe subscribe so we just got to the hotel like i was expecting is not that uh, flashy but it's okay it's manageable to spend a night so i'll be giving you guys a little tour of our room yeah i'm not that impressed but i still want to show you guys how it is so this is the entrance to the room we have this painting here and in there is the bathroom I don't know why the bathroom is outside the room. Normally, the bathroom should be in the room. I don't know why it is here, but that's the bathroom. And I don't know, the bathroom is just too... Um, it's just... <laughs> it's somehow, I don't want you guys to see that, but it is horrible. It's horrible. I'm going to... In fact, let me just continue. So this is the wardrobe. Yeah. And then this is the bed definitely not using that do we um yeah the bed there are two chairs over here and the tv and there's a mirror here yeah so overall i'm going to rate this room like <laughs> what should i rate this this should be like barely four like like three over ten and the reason why I'm giving it 3 over 10 is honestly because of the mirror and the bed frame. I I, I like it, but not too much. It's just, I beg, it's okay to spend the night, but um, I would not recommend. It's horrible. So guys, they literally just use the lights where you can't see anything because we're in the dark right now. Can you see how rough this is? But it's alright. <laughs> Let us manage this for the night. Why is the fridge sounding like gender is about to start, bro? What's that? Hmm. I'll make it through the night. Well, I've come to my parents' room because we came to visit them and see how their room is. And their room is kind of like our room but i'll show you how it is so they have a cute little sitting area here with a tv and that's my dad on the bed <laughs> that's the door and yeah we are going to my brother's room let's go
Let me give you a tour of my brother's room. Okay. This is the wardrobe. Chair. Bed. So, that's a tour of all our... Of all, <laughs> all of our rooms. So, I don't know where we're going to now. We're going back to the room. I don't want to see good nights because I'm in stereo but I'm still going to show you guys a bit of how the hotel looks. Okay. What is that? Like, be for real right there. Are those clothes on the railing? Um, okay. So, they are more ways pretty yeah. uh, it's good it's good good morning guys it is five o'clock I'll be doing my morning devotion very soon. Then I'll start preparing to go to the polling unit. Hi guys, so I just got back from I just got back from the polling unit. So um I wasn't able to vote. Yeah, I wasn't able to vote. I almost got shot. So all was all that was in my head was that Monica just run for your life because <laughs> I was not thinking straight at that point and there are so many things going through my head right now. Is it is worse than what I'm just saying plainly, like I'm literally scared. That is the country we live in. Can't even vote in peace. <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted. I don't know, man. I left this morning going to the polling unit thinking, oh, I'm going to vote for the first time for the right person. And I get there and I almost get shot. Like, all I can say is thank you, God. All I can say is thank you. Thank you, God. That's all that's in my head right now. Thank you. Thank you, God. At the point when I was running, I was crying because I left my mom behind. We were walking together to go back to the car because it wasn't looking like it was safe. So we we're just like, let's just go. And then we started hearing gunshots. I ran the opposite direction. She was going. I, I don't know. She now entered one classroom. That's where she stayed till it was safe to come out. And me, I was just running. I lost the watch she passed on to me. I lost my footwear. Well, glory be to God, I am alive today. I am not injured. She is not injured. She is alive. And I just want to say thank you, God. Honestly, thank you, God. It was it was a lot. It was a lot. I thought I was just going to make like a cute vlog of me going to vote for the first time. <laughs> 
I didn't know that this was what I was going to experience. But oh, thank you. Thank you, God. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever grateful. This is an experience I will never forget. Never forget. good morning is the next day i am going to make my hair today i'm doing the same style but like i want to um relax my roots because it's due for another session so um the results are not out yet we're still waiting and they are rigging of course nigerians i was not I'm not surprised that they are rigging. They, this is what they always do. But I know we will come out victorious. So I'm not bothered. So right now I'm just waiting for my mom. Because I'm going to follow her to work. Because that is where I do my hair. So yeah. When she comes down, I'm going to follow her. And then I'll get my hair done. Come back home. And try to get something done. See you later. I've been breaking out so bad like so bad i don't know what to use for my face so i don't normally break out my skin is not sensitive so i'm wondering why i'm breaking out so bad anyway if you know anything that i can use for these pimples on my face please just kindly suggest them in the comment section i need help i need help and i'm scared because i never break out so yeah that's the end of my routine for this night i am doing my dinner now i want to eat oats then when i'm done i am going to pray then that's the end of the day we're still waiting for who is going to be our president so yeah that's the update guys good night <music> hi guys good afternoon it's the next day it's your girl sorry excuse me it's your girl monica and yeah they've announced the president who the president is but hmm um god has given me such has given me such peace and assurance and i just have so much faith that we're stepping into a new era something that is going to surprise all of us so i'm not losing faith i'm still strong in my faith I've done my morning devotion. I just finished afternoon prayers. I'm actually still about to pray some more. So when I am done, I am going to go out to go and pick my mom from work. Then since I have been, I've had a breakdown today because my banks are annoying me. You all have problems. So my banks are giving me issues. I cannot make transactions. I've been trying and they've just been they've just been giving me issues and i had like a little breakdown because why am i going through all this like 
everything is just crashing down but I, I still have my god god is telling me that i should just keep calm i should just be patient this is just the work of the enemy and i shouldn't give in to distress so when i'm done picking my mom from work i am going to give myself a little treat because i deserve it i deserve it i'm going to get crepes from kada plaza because when i was on tiktok there's this um place on tiktok where you see like other tiktokers in your area and one girl there went to kada and they have this like little um shop in front of kada plaza and they sell crepes there i hope they are still there Sha. so i'm going there to go and buy crepes to taste it for the first time because i've not eaten crepes before it's kind of like pancakes but like it's not pancakes it's flatter so yeah i'm going to get crepes and yeah if i can't get that i'll just order food by the way i think my skin is looking better um my mom gave me one cream like that one face cream and i can see the improvements i can see the improvement even if i have this is just raz like what is this but i can see a bit of improvement i'm going to continue using it i believe it's working for me so yeah that's the update guys see you later just woke up so this morning i just felt really really bad because um i had a very late bible study like i started bible study by 11 something i had bible study with my man for over two hours so i slept by two and I normally have morning prayers in my community by 6 a.m. And the alarms that I set, I woke up and I turned them off. And I'm like, I can't, like, oh God. When I realized that I had missed the meeting, I was like, please, no, no, no. Because I knew that now I'm going to start feeling so bad. Like my chest was really, was literally hurting me some minutes ago but like i prayed and it was like i was feeling more compression on my heart and i'm like god is trying to tell me something and it was like be more intentional be more intentional doesn't matter if you had bible study till 3 a.m still wake up and pray that 6 a.m because you are in that community for a reason for accountability and i was like I can't keep giving this. It's not like I usually miss meetings. I don't usually miss meetings, but this one I I missed it because I overslept. How do I get over this pain? It has already stopped because I literally cried. I cried my eyes out to God, like I'm so sorry, because He literally told me that you're not just there. You are there for me as well. So be more intentional. Set alarms. Set mini alarms. Like he was giving me instructions. Like let me tell you how you can be more intentional about this. See guys, don't joke with prayer with God. That's that's long and short of it all. I just feel like I needed to share this. Don't joke with the time you are supposed to spend with God. Set alarms and be intentional. What I do when I'm setting alarms, I don't set it close to the time I actually have to do it. Because if you are, let me say, you have you have to pray by, let me say, 3 p.m. And then you go and set alarm for 2.55 and something is occupying your time. It's just like you now give it an excuse and then you move your prayer time forward. Don't do that to yourself, please. Don't do that to yourself. I would prefer... I'll tell you that you can set the prayer alarm for maybe two two forty, and then you can whatever you are doing, you can now quickly pack it up and start getting ready for your prayers. 
be more intentional about your devotion with God. He's not just some friend. He is your father. You should be intentional about spending time with him. Okay? Please, put more efforts. You are not doing enough. You're not doing enough. It is never enough. You can always do better. There's no limit in the spirit. So, yeah, I don't really have plans today. I am not going out. Um, I may not go out. So, yeah, I'm just going to do Bible study now and pray some more. And, yeah, see you later. Like once